Welcome back, guys, to the Hippo Education Studio. Wait, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Matt. My camera's acting up. All right. No worries. Welcome back, guys, to the Hippo Education Studios. I'm Matthew DeClerc, joined by Dr. Matthew Delaney. And Matt, I just want to talk about this clinical article in the EP Monthly, February 2020, Peeling Away the Challenge of Stevens Johnson Syndrome. This was by Gregory M. Taylor et al. And, you know, I'm sure you've learned about SJS and TEN just like I have multiple times over and over and over again. And every time I read an article about it, I learn something new and remind myself of stuff that I've forgotten. So what I learned new this time was a third of these cases aren't even caused by medications. They're idiopathic, we'll never know. And so be on the lookout. SJS and TEN is not always just because you started a new med or those classic medications. And some of them are even caused by viruses like herpes or CMV or uh, mycoplasm pneumonia. So other causes. And the other thing, a reminder before I kind of get your input is anytime I see a patient who just started an antibiotic or new medication, they're complaining of a rash. A lot of times it's nothing. It's benign. No big deal. But if you don't look, you're going to miss this. You may miss anaphylaxis, things like that. So just taking that time to be, let me go see what's going on and really remembering what should I be looking for Red flags rule out the bad stuff. I suspect this a lot more frequently than I actually diagnose this. And for me, that's yeah. one of the big takeaways here is if we're seeing someone who just started antibiotics and they've got a rash that looks like it could be Steven Johnson's or toxic epidermal necrolysis, we have to have a high level of suspicion. And I always think this makes for a fairly easy admission if I'm that worried because no one upstairs can tell me that it couldn't turn into a fulminant case. So for me, this article is a very good review of the tips to try to catch this early to improve outcomes for our patients. Perfect. Yeah, this is uh, one of the rare causes that will actually bring the dermatologist into the emergency department. I'm not going to go that far, but th theoretically. All right. All right. 